Uh, hello, I'm Gustav. I'm an engineer at Climatic, and today I'm going to talk about the estimate endpoint and how you can uh, how you can call that and, and make use of the results uh, if you're using the Java programming language. So to start off, I have my uh, my API documentation here, and I can just scroll down to the estimate endpoint just so we can sort of get a, an idea of, of how it looks. Um, and I can see here this is the URL, and it's a, a post request. And um, it takes in some different parameters that I can sort of look at here. Uh, and this is how an example of the request would look. So you can see you have the URL, you have a header with your API key, um, and then you have uh, some data uh, about what you actually want to, to estimate. So what sort of emission factor or what sort of activity you would like to, to know how much uh, how many greenhouse gases emit. And then uh, an example of a response is, is here. So this is just sort of an overview of how it looks. I'm thinking let's um, let's do it ourselves. Just sort of build it. I have a, an insomnia here, which is an, an HTTP client, um, but you can use Postman or Curl or what have you. But just to sort of get an idea of how the endpoint behaves. Um, so I'm going to type in the URL here at first. Uh, so that's beta three dot climatic.io, and then hopefully it'll tell us something. All right, and you can see I have a, I have selected as a post request here already. So now it's telling me that there's no authorization header found. And that's because I have to send in uh, my API key with with every um, with every call. If you don't have one of those yet, you can scroll up here and click join the beta, and then you can uh, you can go and sign up for free. And inside your dashboard, there is um, there is the ability to get an API key. But I already have one, so I will not do that now. So I'm going to say authorization. And it has to be signed bearer uh, colon, and then your your API key afterwards. And uh, this one is mine, so I will use that. Um, and then, of course, it's just not found here because I forgot to write estimate here. And now I'll hopefully get something else. Okay, so now it's not telling me anymore that I need the authorization header, but now it's telling me that the body is invalid. That makes sense because my, it has to, as you saw before, you need to. To supply a JSON body and and my JSON body is well nothing. So let's sort of look. We sent an emission factor, uh, and we had the. And we're going to decide what we want to 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 estimate here. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go to the Data Explorer, which is sort of a, a visual indication of all of the different emission factors climatic is available. Uh, there's a lot of hotel stays. Let's just uh, let's just go with one of those. So I click down here and I can see there's an ID here. So accommodation type hotel stay. And I'm going to take that one and I'm going to copy it in here. And then let's see what happens. So now it's telling me that I need some parameters. And the reason it's saying that is because, you know, okay, so I'm staying at a hotel, but for how many nights am I staying at the hotel? And you can sort of see the, the unit types here. Um, and you can click on it to go to the documentation, but that is, that's what you need to specify in the parameters. Uh, I think I can remember what they are. So I will just write them up here, and this is this is the the amount unit type I should, or the number unit type here as you saw. So this is how many nights I'm I'm staying at the hotel. Um, so this is a number, and let's say I'm staying there for two nights, and then uh, I get this back, uh, which is that is 360 kilos uh, for for two nights at a at a hotel. Um, however, we can see that sort of the region here is is not Canada. The region, Canada has the CA region. So if I actually wanted to to do it for a hotel in Canada, I would I would sort of expand this one here because it takes in it takes in multiple parameters to sort of filter uh, further. So I'll still write the ID, but then I would also write the region um, as CA here, uh, and then that should hopefully give me. Uh, something else, and you can see that the the carbon equivalent of staying in Canada is much much less than the than the other region, and you can see that the region here is, is now correct. So that's sort of the um, that's sort of the 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 request. <coughs> you need to to add the header, and you need to sort of create the body. Let's try doing that in Java. So I have a Java project here, um, and I've just gone inside my. You could do your Gradle or Maven or whatever, but I've gone inside here and I've added uh, the Jackson uh, JSON library and the Apache HTTP client. Uh, and, and you can use whatever JSON serialization library here you want and whatever uh, HTTP client library uh, you want as well. 
Uh, these are just sort of the ones I've picked for this uh, particular example, but we're not you're not sort of locked to any of those. So let's go into our main method here. Uh, and the first thing we need to do is we need to to create an HTTP client and in Apache you do that by writing HTTP clients dot create default. Um, so I'm going to create a client here and you can use the new uh, Java sort of try logic to automatically close the connection afterwards. So I'm just going to do that as well. Okay, so that is just sort of a best practice and doesn't has more to do with the with the actual HTTP client than the climatic API, but it's always nice to be on the, the right side of history. Okay, so we need to execute something. We need to send a HTTP post request. So I can create a new HTTP post here. And I need to specify the URL. And that is beta3.climatic.io slash estimate. And then I can send client execute my request. Oh, that was not on purpose. Um, and then I can say, you know, let's just sort of do that and see what happens to start off with. Um, this is obviously bar. Um, and then let's just sort of print out the HTTP response to see what it what we get. Um, it's Definitely not going to say that is because we need an API in here. It's beta3.api.climatic.io. Drag in. All right. So now we're getting the 401 authorized status code. But maybe let's just look at what the body actually says as well. Uh, and we can do that by using entity utils to string with the HTTP entity from the response. and then printing that one out. Right. Okay, so now we get the, the no header named authorization was found error message again, just like we did previously in the Insomnia client. So we're going to add a header then with, with the API key. Um, so that is as simple as writing add header here. And as you recall, it was called, supposed to be called authorization. And uh, it was supposed to be the, the value of it was bearer colon uh, your API key. I'm just gonna copy that in right here, and then let's try running it again and seeing if we'll hopefully get a new message here. Okay, so now we're getting error passing the request body, and that's because we're not actually sending a body. So there's different ways to sort of uh, get the body. The the way you would do it in, in production code was probably to to create some models and then use a JSON serialization library to, to create that into JSON. We are not going to do that here and they sort of uh, just to keep it short. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a very, very ugly JSON string instead. Um, so I'm going to say let the request JSON or var here. And then I'm going to take in this JSON right here we already know is the one we want. And then just gonna cover that right in here. And that's going to look very, very ugly with a lot of tabs and spaces and, and that sort of thing. Um, but hopefully it'll it'll sort of, you know, uh, give you an idea of, of the JSON you're supposed to send. Uh, then we need to, to add that to the HTTP post. Uh, and we set that as the HTTP entity. And then you can say new string entity, which is just sort of sending a string. And then that requires a string and we're going to send it to JSON that we've gotten along with it. <clears throat> so we're gonna run it again. And now you can actually see that we've gotten a 200 OK status code back. And we've actually also gotten some values. Um, however, this is sort of a JSON value and um, you know we can't actually do much with that because we probably want to extract it into the, into the different components. Um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna create some classes for the re response here. Um, that sort of map to this. And to just sort of make that a little quicker, there's a, a bunch of um, uh, a 
bunch of sort of tools online you can use that way. You can just copy into JSON and it's going to give some Java classes. So I'm going to do that here. And then you can see the little rocket go. And then I actually get the classes that sort of correspond approximately to the JSON. And I'm going to, to, to use that just to get me started. I made a little model folder here. Um, and I am going to create a Java class here. And I'm going to call it climatic estimate response. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to copy in the stuff I had before. So this is the sort of the root or the top level object, which is the response. But obviously the, the tool doesn't know that. Climatic estimate response. And then it's going to complain here because uh, these things are in uh, the same file and they should be in different ones. So I'm just going to uh, move them out into a couple of different files here. Um, there we go. So now we have these three in different files. And then inside our uh, main method, we can sort of, we have the, this HTTP body string here. And we're going to use the, the Jackson JSON library uh, to to um, to convert this into the into the Java models or the Java plain old Java objects we just created. Um, so we create a new object mapper. That's sort of the the Jackson thing you use to to do this thing with. Um, and then what we do is we call read value and then we give it a string to our HTTP body and then we give it a class. So in this case it's our climatic estimate response dot class Ooh. class. Um, and let's just call that a passed response, right? Because now we've passed it into an object and it's still far. Uh, and then hopefully we can sort of now you can use the fast response dot uh, CO2e, which is sort of the overall amount of carbon dioxide equivalents that this has been, uh, that this has, um, that this activity has created. So let's just sort of try printing that one out. And if we can do that, then that should sort of be enough that to, sh to show how to, to use the API and, and that this method works. So let's try running again. And hopefully we will get a nice value. You can see we've got a CO2e of 32.2, which is also the same as when we print our body out. And it's also the same as our uh, request ourselves. So this is just sort of a, a way to use the climatic API uh, with some, uh, some Java libraries.